Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking a first thoughts look first, initial impressions, on Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, if, you've, if you're familiar with this channel and the kind of games I play, you probably know that I adore Metroidvania games. Uh, this is a Metroidvania game from one of the designers of Castlevania. Uh, I believe what happened was they crowdfunded this game as a like an external thing. That's why it's not called Castlevania Ritual of the Night or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's from a Castlevania developer. And apparently it's really good, but the Switch version apparently at launch was not good. So hopefully... Uh, I I've been told that they've done some patches since then, so it might be real good, but we will see. <laughs> Um, yeah, I haven't tried to launch it yet. Let's, let's go. Um, but yeah, so it's a Castlevania title without the Castlevania in the name. I assume it's got a different setting and all that as well, but the same basic gameplay as games like Symphony of the Night. Also, you play as that cutie, I believe. So that's pretty cool. You did get to play as cute girls in some of the other Castlevania games. For example, Portrait of Ruin. Um but I think you ex you mostly play as her, whereas in um, Portrait of Ruin you had to play as some dude as well. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this goes. It's very white screen you've got there. Bloodstained. Ritual of the Night. Press any button. Yep, I pressed right arrow, and that counts as a button, so that worked. Let's look at the config first. Uh, you can remap the buttons if you want. Uh, the defaults are probably fine, but you can see that is configurable if you wanted to change that. Uh, you can tweak the volume if you want. Uh, brightness, probably fine. You can change where the rumble's going or not. You can make the blood different colours if you want. I don't know why. Uh, I guess, I guess, like, the idea is if you, like, don't like seeing blood, you can make it green blood. I, I don't know. Doesn't make much sense. Uh, I'll leave the rest of this stuff on, I suppose. I assume the swap option is here, so you can make, like, the bottom button be confirmed. But because this is the switch, the B button is the bottom button, so the default setting is fine. If you had, like, an Xbox controller or something, you might want to swap it around so that the bottom button, which is the A button, is to confirm, and the B button, which is on the right on an Xbox controller, is is the, the cancel button. But yeah, on the Switch, this is already the right way around. Okay, you get lots of save slots. How many is that? Like, 15 maybe? Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'll go with Miriam. Apparently you can change your character's name if you want. Uh, I can press ZR for a backer ID, but I didn't back this. I didn't hear about this game until very recently, so I couldn't have backed it. Um, so I'll just leave it Miriam. Uh, we'll go normal. I can't pick the other difficulties yet anyway, so normal it is. Firearms let you deal heavy damage from a distance, but they use up ammunition. Beastly enemies are generally resistant to striking attacks, but susceptible to fire. Okay. Most airborne enemies are susceptible to thrusting attacks. Alright. It sounds... Suitably complicated for a Castlevania sort of game. This is what they like. <laughs> we got a uh... industrial revolution oh. in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. But not all welcome the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness. Is that a real volcano? A horde of demons spilled from the shadows. Like, I know this bit didn't really happen. On city after English city, there was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. So it's industrialization the villain or the hero? And in doing so, through the gates of the world opened to Like, obviously, these people are doing something evil, but... Countless innocents died. Hmm. Though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, 
to have all died in the sacrificial fight. Oh no. However, two survived. Chibo, the boy for whom by some miracle the right did not prove fatal. Miriam, the girl who was spared the right altogether on account of the strange slumber. Yeah, Miriam's our player character. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, bloodstained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for of the, the night. castle. <laughs> Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. doing Miriam no mistake it's so hard to believe I wouldn't even be alive if not for him he's a good soul I know I know how you feel but the facts are apparent and the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls Miriam I want you to know that I'm sorry what my brother subjected you to there's no forgiving it it was their transgression not yours you... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. Oh, it's a missing word there. That's weird. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was advanced, arcane. So did she age while asleep, or was it like a complete time stop? But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. <sighs> we'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there, packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Okay, so... Let me see, I can jump. I don't have a double jump or anything, I can kick. Uh, X and A don't do anything yet. I can backdash with L. Uh, how do I access this chest? I can see a chest here, how do I... Open it. <laughs> oh, I can do a little slide, that's cool. Oh, is it this chest? Yeah, okay. Press plus to open the main menu. Equipment. Uh, I guess I'll equip the knife and... Are the shoes not a weapon? Huh. I guess the shoes the shoes are a weapon. Okay. Wonder if I can save my equipment like in game. Good. You're prepared. The next order of business is to Uh oh spaghetti -o. I'm going to fight that thing, right? I'll take care of it. Yeah. Oh! A crystallized form of demon power it cannot be handled by an ordinary human being. 
Press X to trigger projectile magic. Consumes MP. Okay, so I just absorbed a shard that taught me how to do surely and splash. I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping Ugh. across my bones. Gross. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. <laughs> well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, oh no! How did they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Hell yeah. Galleon Minerva. Okay, we're getting a proper, like, Castlevania map thing at the top of the screen there. Okay, so we can jump a couple of different heights by holding the button. We can't double jump or anything, we can jump higher, so that's handy. What's this? A potion. I don't know how to heal yet, so... This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. There are certain doors that open by holding Marianne's arm in front of it. Tilt the right stick. Okay, so, yeah, if I hold the right stick in different directions, he does this. Cool. <laughs> I probably should heal, but I don't know if there'll be like a healing room or whatever that I can just use. Put a dress. Does it give me more defense? It does. Let's put it on. Ocean, a small amount of health. How much is it? Oh, it's not bad. Okay. HP max up. Oh, that heals me. Okay, cool. Oop. Is there a shard in there, or did I just level up? I think I just leveled up. Looks like when I put clothes on, it doesn't actually change my appearance, by the way. Because I'm wearing that new dress and she looks exactly the same. Which is fair enough. Okay, yeah, you can drop through platforms by pushing down on the stick and hitting jump. Pretty standard stuff. Tunic. Is that better than what I already have on? No, it's, it's worse. <laughs> Oh, a save point. Hello. Okay, so save points also heal you. So that's good. Okay, so the save point is represented by a red room with a couch in it. Okay. Is there a book worth looking at here? Okay. <laughs> Keep that in mind. <laughs> Potion or two. I press minus, yeah, it gives you like a fancy old map screen you can 
Meaning of editor. Oh wow, that's really flexible. Look at that. You can move it around on the screen, and you can make it bigger and smaller, probably. Yep, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a lot of functionality compared to like a lot of mini-maps in games. My goodness. Okay, um, travel history? Oh yeah, it shows me little dots to show where I've been. Cool. I think I can put marks on the map as well. I'm not sure if I want to go this way first or the other way. Oh, uh, that looks tough. I might need better weaponry before I fight that. Maybe some more levels. Let's drop down here. Yeah, Castlevania, unlike Metroid, does have level a level system. Uh, and this game does too, but lots of things. Which makes sense. Oh, oh, we got a shard. Directional shard. Aim with the direction press that out, activate. Cast magic towards the aim direction, consumes MP. Flame cannon. Launch a fireball in the desired direct designated direction. Okay, so I can, like, shoot. Yeah, I can uh, shoot to light the fuse. Oh, yeah, cool. Cool. I believe. Yeah, um, it doesn't change, like, you don't go at different speeds, it is digital controls left and right. So you can just use the D-pad if you want. I think I probably will. Uh, I'm using a pro controller, so the D-pad makes sense. I wonder if I should be using the knives rather than the feet. I don't know, kicking, kicking all these demons is pretty funny. Oh, I fell down a long way there. I guess there's no fall damage. <laughs> right, make sure I didn't miss anything. Some experience, if nothing else. Since this is a game with levels. Yeah, nothing else about things. Unless... Nah. Because of the 3D effects and stuff, like, because it's not p pixely, it's a little harder to tell if something's breakable or not. Not really a problem with this game in particular, it's just the art style of a 3D game as opposed to, um, like a sprite spritey game like Time Spinner. Which I still adore, by the way. Time Spinner is great. Okay, I got a map of the Galleon, so now I can see what rooms I haven't been to yet. That's cool, that's cool. Dude, this looks pretty scary. Aha! Uh, I got a bunch of stuff. There's a chest over here with SP rounds in it. I'm guessing I'll get like a small pistol or something. SP. I don't actually have any firearms yet, so I can't really use these small pistol rounds I'm finding. 10G? I guess that's the money. It doesn't look gold though, it looks silvery, so I'm not sure if it's like gallium. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I, I think Gallium might be toxic. Oh, oh, something happened. Oh, level up. Level three now, that's pretty cool. Um, do, 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 do. What's in here? I got a short sword. I'm guessing a short sword is better than kicking. Let's have a look. Short sword attack 12, yeah, it is better. Let's switch to it. Looks good. I wonder if I'll get like a smashing down attack. Like in Dead Cells or Time Spinner. Does Time Spinner have that? I can't remember. I think it does. I need to play more Time Spinner. It feels like the kind of thing you should have in these kind of games because there's a lot of verticality. Bronze is green? Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know what colour bronze is supposed to be, so maybe it is green. Tattered scarf, is that worth equipping? Uh... It's apparently better than the one I was already wearing, which is kind of weird because it's tattered, but you know, whatever. Oh, the scarves do change how you look. That's cool. I kind of wish the other clothes did too, but eh, 
As long as something does, it's still cool. Can I read these books? I can. Somebody's journal. Oh, there's three spinning hips repeating the same command. Down, so... Kung Fu shoes, dragon shoes. Okay, so... There's like, um... Kind of like Street Fighter combos, I guess? Interesting. Yep, I'll save. So yeah, it heals you up when you when you uh, sit on the chair, so... Don't have to worry about saving with low health and being stuck. Uh, so I probably don't need to worry about keeping multiple save slots or anything. In some games, like Metroid for example, the save and the tree charge room are separate, so you can theoretically like mess up and get stuck. I haven't, but in, in theory you could. Gross, writhing limb. Okay, here's one of these guys again. Uh, um. Okay, these guys are really vulnerable to magic, so I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, there is a chest up there. I don't think I can reach it yet. You can see there's a platform on that side. I might need like a double jump or something. The way this galleon's designed is really nice. Look at the way it's curving. It's like that. It's like a ship because it is a ship. Uh, that's a ghost. I don't know what ghosts are weak to. I think I need to kill at least one before it'll tell me. But it is taking damage when I hit it with my sword, so... Sugar? I feel like there's a cooking minigame, I think I might have mentioned. In the inventory when I was examining some of these ingredients I keep finding. Just is kind of funny. I'm having problems with this ghost. Yay! Uh, if I go to archives, I can look at the demons and see... Ghost. Slows the movement of whoever, whomever it touches. Resist. I assume minus means it's vulnerable to that? Hmm. Okay, I know the... These guys are vulnerable... To magic. Okay, yeah, I see. I might need to backtrack because there was another one of those guys that I didn't get the treasure because I thought I wasn't strong enough. But I'm probably strong enough now. Okay, doing a slide does do a little bit of damage, but it's barely worth it. Cutting up monsters with my short sword. Here's a chest with a claymore. Is that like a long sword? A better sword? Oh, I see. Swords and G swords. Oh, great swords, right? Yeah. Give me that. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, it's gonna be slower because it's a big old heavy great sword, but it's still awesome. Uh, what did I just find? C candles come from mana rose when destroyed. A mana rose is a magic rose, slightly replenishes MP. Okay, so I, I want to destroy those in order to get rewards. Such as mana roses. Found some seeds. Maybe I can plant them. Found some money in that one. I haven't been smashing these candles, and I should because they clearly have rewards in them. Shooting the cannon at the. Oh, I made a shortcut. Okay, I thought I might be able to break this wall earlier, and I just did. <laughs> From the other side. Neat. Uh, that's cool. Um, let's climb up a little bit, because there's a save room over here. Let's sit on the couch and have a quick rest. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I haven't seen any, like, problems so far. I think someone mentioned that reading books made it crash in older versions of the Switch. Port, but I had no problems with that, so I think they probably fixed that. Face the other way. There we go. Okay. Oh, level up. Yeah. Uh, rusted ring. What does that do? For me, accessory? Increases my death and my constitution. Or con. I don't know if it's constitution, but it probably is. Can I, like, just look at my stats and see what they mean somewhere? 
It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh, there we are. Those are the attributes. Slash, Thrust, Strike, Fire, Ice, Thunder, Light, Dark, Poison, Curse, Stone. Yeah, I knew that already. Uh, not what I was looking for, though. Yeah, I don't think I've found the information that actually tells me what those mean yet. So, <laughs> maybe I'll come back to that. Does it fill my mana as well? Like, when I go to the save? I think it does, but I'm not sure. Let's just go over there and have a quick look. Also, I'm wondering if I can revisit the ship once we've gotten to the next part. I would assume so, because you usually can in a Metroidvania, but it's also a ship, so it might not make sense. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oop, backdash too far. <laughs> the um, transition between screens with just like a black screen isn't, isn't great, but it, it's alright. It could be worse. Um... Yeah, my projectile attacks are really good. <laughs> That's like about as much damage as my sword was doing at a much greater distance, which is real good. Can I push this? I can. I don't even need to push it. I just need to walk into it and it moves. Wonderful. I got a whip. I got a whip. I'm guessing it does less damage than the claymore, but it's a whip. Yeah, it does more damage than the short sword, though. Let's get it. Whip time. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Finally, we're playing Castlevania. <laughs> What's this? Oh, money. Oh, oh, got a shard. I think it made my water attack like better or something. I'm not sure. Shards. Oh, I see. It made the grade go up, which made it a little bit stronger, I assume. And then I'm guessing I need to get it to a certain grade to make the rank go up, by collecting lots of the same one. If I can equip different ones, I'm getting the impression I probably can, which is cool. Take that bird. Equip is actually kind of slow, which is weird. I wouldn't expect that. There we go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get something that lets me double jump. I don't know when, but it, it feels like something's going to happen. That's going to be a boss or something. I'm going to wait wait and look around a bit more before I do that. Rats. They're rats. They're the rats. I don't think I need to fight them, so I won't need any more of them. <laughs> Sorry, first rat. Save your progress. It's interesting that just sitting down is apparently all Miriam needs to heal to full. She should sit down more often. Yeah, the rats don't seem to be doing any damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave them alone. What do we got here? A hundred G. I should be able to break that, right? Maybe I can't. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I wonder why I wasn't breaking with the whip. Weird. Um... Okay, what have I missed? You, see this, you can see there's a bunch of rooms I haven't been to yet, but some of them I don't think I can actually reach. Uh, because of not being able to like double jump or something. I feel like I'm gonna get a double jump. Alright, this guy's gonna be there. Jack. Yeah, you can aim this while moving around, by the way. That's cool. That's pretty cool. And they do damage on contact, so be careful about that. Oh god, there's more of them. They keep coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, maybe I can get up this way. Hang on. Yeah, if I jump on these, I'll be able to jump up here. In order to reach this part. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, I need, I need like a double jump or a hover move or something to get across there. Hmm. I don't know what moves the game's gonna give me because I have never played this, so I don't know what to expect. Wasn't really a good use of resources, but you know, whatever. 
give me a man of runes. Ow. It's Castlevania, cause I have a whip. That's the only thing you need to make a game Castlevania. <laughs> that means Dead Cells was Castlevania, by the way. In case you're wondering. Can I check upwards? No. Go this way. It's in here. There is some treasure for me. Ooh! A gun can be shot by equipping a consumable bullet. When you run out of the type of bullet that was equipped, the bullet replaced with a much weaker infinite bullet. Okay, so I can equip guns now. Does that replace my other weapon? It does. Okay, I see. Hmm, I and mean, then I can change that to something better. Oh, soft point rounds. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I know what's to play more? Play more with infinite rounds. <laughs> Don't want to run out of that claymore ammunition. Yeah, it's actually pretty quick. Like, it looks slower, but it's it's not. Got new equipment. I think that's an accessory? No? What is it? A head? Oh, it's a head. Oh, it makes you smarter. Okay. Oh, and look. That actually changes your appearance, too. So some of these things do change your appearance, but not all of them. Interesting. I still missing here? Boop. Uh, I can see a room there, but I don't know how to get to it. There's also a couple of rooms way back there. I feel like maybe I can break through the wall over here? Not that one. This one down here. There we go. What have we got here? It's some money. Oh. Oh, MP max up. Okay, so that was like a little pot full of mana roses, which increases my maximum mana. Nice. Is it mana or mana? I don't know. It could be either. We got another Cerulean Splash. How painful. <laughs> anyway, that makes it stronger, so that's good. Um, okay, I still want to check out... Um, can I get my cursor to show up? Yeah, I can. I want to check out what's over here. Uh, I don't think I can reach this room just yet, but I want to check out what's over here when we're going to the boss. Do a little slide and then jump up a bit. Uh, yeah, I still can't reach over there. Level up! I'm not quite sure what leveling up actually affects in this game. Like, I assume it affects some of your stats, but I don't know which. <laughs> Like, if it, it doesn't seem... Does it make you do more damage? Maybe. Um, it also might make your health bigger, but there's also health power-ups that are separate, so... Hmm. I guess I'll just keep doing it. I assume it makes me better at the game, like, in terms of um, enemies and stuff. Which is all that matters, really. Oh, right, it's a wall there. Went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm having fun, by the way, if you were wondering. Yeah, this is good. I like this game quite a lot. Music is fun and you're playing as a cute girl with a scarf. I can go up here. I think I already went up here. Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, yeah, I already knew I could go up there because I went up there. But yeah, uh, I want to go back here, and then try to climb up on this side. Because evidently I missed that earlier. And yeah, you want to smash all these candles and things. Oh. Oh, okay, I can actually reach that. I forgot about that. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to come here with the double jump that I'm probably going to get. It feels like I'm going to get a double jump. It, mi it might be a hovering move, but I'm going to get some sort of mobility upgrade soon. Anyway, um, let's just make our way towards the end of the boat again. I guess the front of the boat? I think we started near the back of the boat. The prow? I think they're called the prow. The front prow. And then the back is the stern. I think. I'm not, I'm not a boat expert. 
Uh, I know this is a galleon, like a boat is like a little, and you have a ship which is bigger, and a galleon is a type of ship, but maybe I am a boat expert. I seem to know more than I thought. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's watch out for this dollar hammer. They're covered in little spikes. I think they might hurt me when I hit them because of the spikes. Kind of like um, the spiky guys in Dead Cells, which have a similar problem. You want to use like a ranged attack, but I don't really have anything suitable. Unless the whip counts as ranged, but I don't think it does. Um, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Let's go back this way and smash these again. Are there like, um, health drops? I know there's mana drops, because you get little mana roses. I don't think I've seen any health drops yet, though. Apart from potions, which I guess I can just use if I need them. Hmm. That's some money. I wonder what I'll need to buy, because I'm getting a lot of money. Again, that's something that happens a lot in Castlevania, but not so much in Metroid. So the games aren't quite the same, despite being the name of the genre collectively. That monster bird tear. I'm sorry, monster bird. Make monster bird cry. Feel real bad. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and uh, hit the save just so I can heal. And then I'm gonna check out this boss. Or what I assume is a boss. Like, there's one on the map and it's got like a skull on the door or whatever. It's probably a boss. There we go. Do, do. I wonder if those little sparkles mean anything. Like, I heal as soon as I sit down. Um, so it's not healing sparkles. This is probably, uh, oh, a cutscene, okay. Uh, hello. So, Sleeping Beauty, you've decided to awaken. Oh, wow, you're hilariously evil now. J Jebel? Jebel? Whatever your name was. Jebel. Tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us. I mean, that's a good point. Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No! No, there you are. Very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. I mean, Join okay. Me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me... This is nonsense. You told me... Our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. Yeah, that makes sense. I've given up on my humanity. But you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jeebo, we must return. Grammary? Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. You're right in front of me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Grim. We're leaving. Boss battle? I'm fighting you? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't know how much health you have, what I'm trying to do, apart from hit you with my sword. My goodness. Ah. 
I don't think I'm going very well here. <laughs> That's not good. Um, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, that's the name of the game. Yep. Uh, loading? Alright. Okay, okay. I was worried it'd be just like in Symphony of the Night where it goes all the way back to the title screen, you have to redo everything to get back in. But no, it, it goes back to the last save point fairly quickly. Alright, um, how close am I to leveling up? Maybe I can level up and then get stronger. Not, not close. Um, let's give this another try. Is it gonna replay the cutscene? Yep, but I think I can skip it. So, come. Yeah. <laughs> I was like a health bar or something for the enemies. At least the bosses. Hmm. Oh, oh I got it! Oh I got it! Got it that time. I didn't even use any potions. Oh, that's way better. Uh, are you gonna turn into a shard and then stab me? Yes. Ooh, thrashing tentacle. Attack foes with one of Vipar's tentacles. I saw it. Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. Okay, I guess the game starts now. <laughs> we... Was this a village? What happened to it? The demon's Jeeble summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. Is this game fully voiced? All right, but wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. It's a lot of voices. It's pretty good. Can I go back this way? Yeah, I can. I can go back into the ship if I want. Like, it's obviously crashed or whatever, but I can go back in and do stuff on the ship if desired. So that's cool. Arventville. Oh no, rats are bad now. 
level up. Yeah. I guess I, like, nearly got two levels from the previous fight. Cheese! Rat tail, gross. Uh, I'd like to see a save point, because I'm kind of low on health after that last fight. Oh no! Oh, hello. You look very Bayonetta. I'm not quite sure what just happened. Oh, thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can see, I know a thing or two about expelling demons. An exorcist. Half the text and was missing. Like have you, <laughs> that was weird. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. But you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger. But she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons, facilitated by one Shardbinder, just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly ten years. Yeah. You're right. It is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? Oh, snap. I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeevil my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me. Hello, little cutie. Oh, hello there. Are you alright? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm alright, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't <laughs> be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, alright. Come on, this way. Okay then. Um... What's this? Paint track with that? Doesn't look like it. This village looks pretty destroyed. Hmm. Oh, he's um she's I running on her own. I couldn't control before, her in that bit. And this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone. Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I, I got the impression Dominique is trained in combat too. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. Maybe just because she looks like Bayonetta. <sighs> Alright. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Am I the only one saying that she looks like Bayonetta? <laughs> Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but be careful. <laughs> I will. Okay, so we got a bit of a safe house here. What's in here? A waystone? What's a waystone? Uh, take you wherever you picture. Requires concentration. Do I need more than one? Or, like, does it use it up when I use the waystone? Yeah. Yeah. Don't know. Like, it says I have one waystone, which suggests I might use it up when I use it, but it's unclear. Uh, 
Ah, uh, we got a photography Tell booth me, over here. What is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. I'll oh, a side quest. Be right back. A side quest. <laughs> um, what about on the other side? I'm guessing alchemy lets us convert the like junk we've been finding into useful potions and stuff. Ah, uh, here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know, it's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. I think explaining it was pretty clear. So, what'll it be? Okay, so I can make stuff out of materials, I see. This, the stock is how many I have, I think. Uh, yeah, and I can make various different things. Uh, let me see. Ooh, katanas. That's cool. Uh, the pirate hat sounds pretty good. I might make one of those. Um, probably the armor. It's got better defense, but it doesn't boost your other stats, so in that way it's not as good. Hmm. And there's some stuff down there I can't craft. Prepare? Oh, I can make food as well. Oh, there we go. I thought there might be something like that. Neat. Enhanced shard? Oh, I see. I can make... I can probably increase their grades or something? By using these materials? I'm not really sure. Oh, let's try proving this I'll one. Go with this. Oh, they made the rank go up. Okay. I'll go with this. So if I... Okay, so the rank went up and the grade stays the same. Interesting. And I can use... I can dismantle things I don't want to get the materials out of them? Yeah. I don't know what Algahest is. I probably need to grab some other material Once first. I've transmuted an item, oh yeah, the pirate hat. <laughs> so she can carry it at the supply post for you. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me. Oh, a blueprint. Okay. I, I can understand. do that. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. With proper nutrition and a very... Isn't diet, it just cooking? The potential like, to get much is alchemy stronger. just a fancy word for cooking? <laughs> oh, you get a stat boost for eating new foods. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, there's a save room over here. I figured there'd be one in here somewhere. Let's save. There we go. And resume. Check out my cool pirate hat. Yeah. 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 I haven't got anything I can... Sh I haven't found a shop yet, which is interesting. Because I found all this money, but I haven't got anything to spend it on. Yeah. Uh, I can't go through there. Might need to talk to someone else to unlock it? I don't know. Yeah. Let's go back this way and talk to everyone, I guess. <laughs> Miriam, welcome. Thanks, Since Dominique. this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy. I guess this is the shop. Here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, 
I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you if you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power. But there is a limit to how far this okay. can go. Okay, okay, that and makes more sense. more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I is that like an actual game mechanic, or just a, a like a of piece money. of fluff? <laughs> All right. We'll see, we'll I see. I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? Uh, what are you looking to buy? Mithridate? Stone floor? Okay, yeah, so I'm guessing a waste stone is one use because you need to buy more. You can buy more of them here. I'm guessing I can warp to, like, certain specified places, but I don't know where they are. Oh, Alkahest. There it is. Hmm. Oh my god, 32 Bitcoin. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Right, I can buy some better shoes if I want, but I don't really need them. Oh, glasses. Do they show up when I wear them because then I absolutely need them, so I can be I can be wearing glasses. What are you looking to sell? Uh, I can sell some stuff. Doesn't sell very much. The waystone costs a hundred G. It only sells for ten. What are you looking to sell? So that's not great. But yeah, I can sell off some of these, but I don't think I will yet. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. Oh, the key to the building. You can Thank use you. It to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time. Side I'll quests, you I say? I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. Thanks. Okay, I have the key now, so let's head on in and have a look around. Uh, we're coming up close to an hour, so I won't play for much longer. Uh, I don't want this video to get too long, but... Okay, this doesn't look safe. Um, I thought it was supposed to be safe. I mean, I know I'm outside again, but yeah, this is not safe. <laughs> My goodness. What's this? Capacity? Is that like more more bullet space? I think it's, I think it's bullet capacity. Like maybe I can hold more of them or something. What does this do? Oh, this is a warp. Okay, so I can warp to other rooms that have this same kind of thing in them, but I haven't found any others yet, so... Can't do anything with it yet. <laughs> Still cool. I need to find more green rooms for that to be useful. Oh, oh, I got a new type of shard. What is it? Bone toss. Throw a bone in the designated direction. Fair enough. Makes sense that the guys with little bones have that, I guess. Melting skull. Gross. Oh, oh. Gonna get stabbed again. Here we go. Summon bat. Call forth a bat and set it upon foes. Fair enough. Oh, I need to get to the other side to open that door, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought would happen. Yeah, cool. HP rounds. So, high... High... Power? I don't know. Stab. Oh, 
Stab. Gale Crawl. Like, we had a shockwave that travels along the ground and rips enemies apart. I am getting a lot of cool abilities real quick. Granted, these are all combat abilities. I don't have anything to jump better yet. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. It should, because this is, you know, a Metroidvania title. But maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, there's another chest up there. I don't know if I can reach it yet. Let's have a look around. I should all just... Go for the roof to crumble. There we go. <laughs> Elf ears. Is it like a hat? No? An accessory? Yes. Wearable ears that resemble those of a certain sylvan race. Oh, yeah, they actually show up. So, the, the, the body items don't, but all the other items do show up by the looks of things, which is interesting. Hmm, I like it. Oop. Oh, okay. I'm down here now. If you say so. Uh, I've found a tunnel. This? Oh, an 8-bit coin. I found one. I don't know what that's useful for, but I have it. Um, a valuable coin that can be found in circulation. I think you're probably supposed to sell it to get money or something. Because it's valuable. It's probably like a vendor trash kind of thing. Rats. The rats. They're the rats. They pray at night, they stalk at night. They're the rats. There's a normal rat, you don't have to worry about that. There's a giant rat that makes all of the rules. <laughs> Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Okay, we're a little past an hour now, so I'm gonna start giving my thoughts. Obviously I'm not very far into this game yet, but I am very impressed. Um, like, I'm not seeing any problems whatsoever. Granted, I haven't played the other versions of the game, so it's possible it just runs better not on the Switch, but I am impressed enough that I'm not bothered by the fact that it might be an inferior version. Because <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> and yeah, it, it... Whoa, okay, that door just opened. I thought it might need me to do something special, but it just opened. I don't really know where I'm going right now. Oh, Forbidden Underground Waterway, okay. I feel like I probably shouldn't be here. It sounds forbidden. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I, I guess I have the ability to open that door, but I don't really know why. It's sort of glowing red. Maybe it's like because I have the right number of shards or something? I don't know. Uh, I can climb up here, though. Can I actually go up there? Or do I... Okay, yeah, I can jump high enough. There we go. <laughs> Flip this, what happens? Oh, I can go this way, okay. This leads to a similar sort of, uh... Transitionary room, I guess? I guess you could call it? I don't know. Where am I now? Entrance. Oh, this is the castle, isn't it? I'm entering the castle. Yeah, th this is the castle that, uh... Jeeble created? Yeah. Sounds like a Castlevania game, alright. I'm having trouble with these bats, because my weapon is so slow. If we switch to something a bit faster, that would deal with them better. And I'm doing enough damage anyway, I'm pretty sure. Try the whip. Hmm, that's still not great. I probably need new weapons, like better ones. Uh, that looks scary. Can I avoid fighting you by climbing up here? Looks like it. Oh, got another gale crawler. Also, some random junk that I can use to make stuff. Hey, a book! What's it say? Thousand Blossoms. Riddling with a blur of thrusts too fast to count. 
the rapier singer or Kazikli. There's actually a little vibration happening in my controller every couple of, every second or so to let me know when I'm at low health. That's cool. I am not playing very well. I don't know if you've noticed, but yeah, I'm playing real bad. I was kind of hoping to find a save point real soon because I am very low in health and I will die very easily. That's not a save point. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... gonna try to backtrack a little bit. Uh, see if I can... Oh yeah, this room. Uh, hmm. That's a vampire. <laughs> Got a bat fang. This is the first room of the castle. Break these if you want. I just got one of these doors, the weird flippy magic -y doors. Maybe they lock when something serious is going on, like, I don't know, a climactic battle or whatever. Okay, you're supposed to come into the castle this way so you can see it as you come in. I kind of messed that up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh my goodness. Base lord. Also a book. Surprise gift. Tell your equipped weapon at enemies. Base lord, main gauche, Khan Wenin, Mandu Pasir. Can't do it with a whip because whip wasn't on the list of weapons it worked with, but still cool. Can I sit down here? Yeah, but it doesn't heal me, because it's not a magic seat, it's a normal seat. Still cool. Um... Yeah, so I accidentally discovered that secret area, basically. Um... <laughs> Oops. Uh... Dodge that. Let me just uh, go back to the save point here. So yeah. My thoughts based on the first hour of Bloodstained Ritual Denied or so, it's, I think it's a bit less than an hour, it'll tell me when I save. Um, but based on the amount of this game I've played, I am very impressed. Um, it's a very different take on the concept than a game like Time Spinner, which is also, you know, trying to ape Symphony of the Night to a great extent. Um, it's also a very good game as far as I can tell though, so I'm really impressed. Um, I like the general aesthetic, I like the different options the game gives you for doing all sorts of stuff. That baseline is actually real good. I'm gonna equip that. Uh, I like that when you equip pirate hats or elf ears, they show up on your character, because that's really funny. Um, I haven't really seen enough of the like plot overall to really predict how much I'm gonna like everything. Uh, but from what I've seen... Hang on. Just... Uh, Okay, so you throw it and then you get it back immediately. Cool. Huh. Yeah, the, the combo is a little weird, but I'll, I get used to it with a little practice. Okay, how much play is that? That is, uh, just shy of an hour. Okay, so yeah, that's, um, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, a game that looks freaking awesome. Um... Again, I don't know if the Switch version really is that much worse than the other versions. I probably just fixed it at this point, because I was told that, for example, reading books made it crash, and I've had no problems, as you can see. Um, the load time when you die is a little annoying, but it's not that bad, because you don't die that much. <laughs> um, unless you're just, like, really messing up. But, I don't know. It, it did seem a bit excessively long, but... I, th I think I can manage. Um, the load time otherwise, when you just go between rooms and stuff, is 
very tolerable, quite short. Um, even when you go in between areas, it's still fairly short, so it's not a problem. Um, oh, I see. Okay, so we can see this is the previous area over here, and then Arventville here. Apparently, the entrance counts as part of Arventville, because it's still highlighted. It's kind of weird. Also, you can put little markers on the screen, on the map, if you want. These little ghost thingies. Um, anyway, yeah, so I, th I think I've pretty much said what I want to say. This game looks freaking cool, and I think if you enjoy Metroidvania titles, you're probably going to think this is heckin' awesome, because it's a really cool Metroidvania title with cuties that you play as, and she's got a little dagger, and, and she's got a pirate hat, and you can, you can give her all these different outfits and stuff, and it's great. <laughs> It is, it is weird that, like, the dresses don't show up when you wear them. You'd think they would, but they don't. But everything else does, so it's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you an idea of this game, which I'm hyped about and look forward to playing more of. Um, yeah. Bloodstain ritual tonight, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. A little, little, little stabby. Yeah. <laughs>